Hi there, my name is Will Kostakis. I'm the author of The First Third, here to talk about how you can use this young adult text in your classrooms. So, basically, I've learned how to use it in classrooms from teachers who have used it over the past year, and one of the most effective ways that they've used it is as a tool to look at identity and the different kinds of identity within Australia. So. I uh, make no secret of the fact that I have based this book on my experiences growing up in a small but potent Greek family. So you have that multicultural aspect driving through. But at the same time, I've been inspired by the friendships that I've built over my short 24 years. And um, yeah, it's just watching kids interact with the text has been really quite great because it's sort of built up a life of its own. They've found things in the friendships and the familial relationships that I, I certainly intended to place there, but watching them tease it out um, over an in-depth text study has been really quite fulfilling for me as an author. So, um, for example, I went to an all-girls school that is studying it as a Year 11 text, and it was funny, I was sat down by a teacher who had, who had sort of made dot points of all the topics that she thought were perhaps risque for the kids and just warned me that we were doing a Q&A but told me, you know, because one, one of the main characters, his best friend, has cerebral palsy and uh, he is quite open in, with his sexuality, um, living as a, a young homosexual uh, teenager. And the staff told me, oh, just, just be careful of that. And the really funny thing is, once I sat down and started speaking to the girls, uh, I asked them, who's your favourite character? and unanimously they all chose that boy who was um, struggling with his sexuality and then um, and talking to them they were quite while their teachers were quite almost afraid of that subject matter these kids were just there going yeah no it's you know it's really great I know people just like him and they saw so much of their friends and their families in the text and that was that really like, there's no other um, there's no real word for that feeling, but it was it was really quite great to see. So the book, The First Third, it's based on a concept that my grandmother introduced to me. It's that um, you live a life in thirds. The first third of your life is um, you being embarrassed by your older family. The second third of your life is you there trying to build a family like the one that you had. And in the final third, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you end up embarrassing your younger family. And um, it was quite bittersweet when my grandmother said it to me and I thought back and I thought, okay, what is, what is my first third being defined by? And obviously the big points are, you know, my father did the greatest Houdini impression um, when my parents divorced and I was left to be raised by um, my mum and her mother. And so um, I grew up in a quite a non-conventional family and my mum worked 70 to 80 hours a week to keep me at, and my older brothers older brother and a younger brother in private school and so my grandmother was very very involved to fill in any void that was there and um, so that's where the concept of the first third came from and I asked myself how would I define you know this moment of my life what, what is being a teenager in Australia in 2014 it is being close with parents it's having a mum who's you know trying to re-enter the dating world at 45. It's having a father who's absent and may or may not have children living elsewhere. Um, it's about, you know, dealing with the passing of your grandparents. It's about forging these really strong um, friendships. It's about, you know, <laughs> trying to navigate the world of love and failing miserably. But also it's about finding yourself and your place in the world. and that's really in its essence what the first third is about and i hope you enjoy it and i hope your kids do too cheers